Hello and welcome back everybody to what might be the longest playthrough in the internet's history. Probably not though. Uh, so, welcome back to Klanat. We're still trying to give people the starfish, to distribute the starfish as the text down here says. And I'm not sure if that will, helpful in, will be helpful in the end. I wonder how we eventually get some people to uh, turn out, uh, turn up for this event, quote unquote event. So her marriage, that is. Um, oh yeah, one thing I wa really wanted to talk about is, uh, oh no, two th things actually. So the first thing is a bad thing. So um, and it will contain spoilers. So. If you don't want to hear that, skip uh, like a minute or two ahead, please. I was on the internet yesterday and I watched some Watch Mojo video, and that is bad enough in itself, but uh, it was like the 10 most dramatic deaths in anime or something like that. And uh, there I saw Klanat. And I luckily, luckily, what happened was I uh, skipped through this video. So I didn't see the introduction uh, of the Klanat clip and the name of the person who died. So I'm luckily, luckily not spoiled who dies in the Klanat after story. But now I know that someone... It might not be the after story after all now that I think about it. Why do I assume it's the after story? It might actually be like here. That would actually be a factor like... Um, that, that Fuku might die, now that I think about it. Huh. But no, I did not see who dies. So I only know someone in Klanat dies. So I was a bit spoiled. Okay, and now to the second thing I wanted to talk about. I really want Fuku to die in the end. Now you may think, wow, you are such a horrible person. <laughs> I want it for story reasons. Not because of emotional I want people to die reasons. Don't worry. Because if this this story would be so much more dramatic and uh, would go way more out with a bang, if in the end Fuku fulfilled her purpose and then finally dies, you know? If, if she just wakes up and everything is good and yay hooray, I don't know, I, I don't feel this feels right for this scenario. It's like one of these typical Japanese ghost stories, where a ghost returns to this world to fulfill his, uh, for, to fulfill some last task. And I feel like if she doesn't die in the end, it's kind of like, ah, so really did this have to be a happy ending, you know? I feel like the story would uh, be better if Fuku died in the end. But that is just my opinion. I guess we shall see about that. Alright, now I have wasted, wasted three and a half minutes, so let's jump finally in. As lunch break arrives, Fuku goes out to distribute starfish again. Several of the students ignore her, but overall it's going smoothly. But those several students... They would then put on a forced smile and walk away awkwardly with an oversized starfish in hand. Your muscles must be all stiff now. Let me help. Masashi knows. I already know that. So, as mentioned before, we will use the walkthrough until the end of the 30th. And for the 30th, I already looked up the decisions. So, I already know what to do. I pinch Fuku's nose to, ne nose to help loosen it. Ah, I wonder what this feeling is. You have mastered the pinching Fuku's nose skill. Wow, we're a master at bullying Fuku now. Hooray! You! Yes! Yes! Oh, I love the music though. To be honest, I love the music. It sounds like the best of a Disney movie and an RPG maker, uh, like a JRPG. That doesn't make me feel happy at all. I thought you might be tired because your nose is so small that you can't breathe properly. 
Man, let me tell you. I don't mean I don't have a small nose, but I have really bad problems breathing through my nose. It's like... So that is actually shitty, you know? Because uh, when you do sports and stuff, you really... You are supposed to um, inhale through the nose and breath out with the mouth, but I can inhale with my nose. I mean, I can. There is not much oxygen going to my brain then. Huh. Maybe like Asterix and Obelix. Kinda Cleopatra knows, like a triangle. I know Asterix and Obelix are not very famous in America, right? Ah, for the Russian viewers. Is it known in Russia? That is a good question. That would be interesting. <laughs> This is what she really is. It's rude, the only word you know. That is actually a fair point. Fine, got it. I'm a root guy. Right, right. Why are you the one getting angry at me? <laughs> Sorry, that is really cruel, but also uh, really funny. In case you didn't get it, she just turned you down. Well, for the time being, lunch break is almost over anyway. Wanna go debrief? Man, poor Sonohara. <laughs> that was actually funny. We go back to our headquarters. Many of the students accepted the starfish, but some of them simply just ignored her. Do you know why, Fuku? I have never seen you smile. Actually, when she's like in a trance, she always smiles. Don't spit out such a lie with a straight face. I think she's a master at intimidating others. There is no relief mastery either. That is the first time I've seen anyone snap like that. Sonohara, the least likely candidate to help us get back to the main topic, just miraculously did so. Man, he's down now, because he was turned down. Man, I don't know why that was so funny. It's so cruel, but I don't know <laughs> that was so funny to me. Did you see their emblems? Don't say emblem. The color. Yeah. All of them were third year students. That's not it. People like us who've given up on going to university have it easy, of course. But it's not normally supposed to be like this, right? Their minds are so taken up by the up with the Antrix exams that they have no extra space to consider other people's feelings. Going out to have fun with someone, they don't even have that luxury. It, it is to them, right? There would be no problem if that is the case. How does that sound, Fuku? I thought so. The only person in school who knows Fuku is also a third year student. Being ignored by her must have been quite a shock to Fuku. 
3年生のお友達たくさんいます。Really? Well, there are some if you count the bad friends too. But there's no point in counting them, right? Really? I feel like we're the Lona Club in here. It's interesting because in Germany that is actually rather normal to repeat a year. I mean, it's not a good thing by any means. But it, it, it is at least rather normal. It's nothing you're shocked by when you hear it. <laughs> maybe, maybe in this route, Sunohara and Nagisa will become a couple. I don't think so, but it would be funny. The atmosphere has gotten so heavy. Ah, whoops, my bad. Fuku breaks the silence for us. I can't sense bitterness in her words. Yeah, I guess so. We can only try. That's all I can say. Later, Fuku keeps going around, giving her carvings to people, even during the short breaks. In the end, it's no different from the lunch break. Those third years don't even talk to Fuku. I wonder what we're doing wrong. Fuku holds out a starfish in front of a student reading a reference book. Okay. It's your fault. Or rather, I look around the classroom. Even though it's break time, everyone is sitting in front of their desk, studying while nothing, nothing thinks down. Nothing noting, our god can't read, thinks down with a pencil. I don't think they're in any position to care about others. You know, I, I don't know, maybe I, I mean, I was a lazy bastard in school. Let's be honest here. In the last year, like, now that I think about it, oh, whoops, it's my, it's my mouse fault. Every time I use my mouth, it now opens this thing here, so I better should not move it. Um, in my last year in school, I didn't do that much anymore, to be honest. But um, when uh, the final exams came in school, the last month, I actually learned, uh, studied a lot. What I studied, though, was how these uh, final exams work. That is the crazy thing about it. When, um, for example, in, in the state where I live, in Germany, um, you can look up uh, the, uh, the exams of last year, and you can look up what teachers expect from you to answer, you know? And I just, uh, and I just learned by heart what they expected from me last year, and uh, use that for what they might expect from me this year. And I passed with honors, you know? I, I was really good in the final exams. It's, it's so stupid, sometimes in school. Although in history, in history, my final exams, I just rocked the house by nature. Because man, I love history and I was good at history. And also in English, I did very well by myself, to be fair. But in German, in German, it was really just about the things teachers expected you to answer. It's true. <laughs> A male student suddenly enters through the door and bumps into Fuku, making her drop the starfish. The starfish rolls a few times on the ground before making its way to another student's leg and tipping over. 
The female student who picks up the starfish is the same girl whom Fuku talked to a few days ago. Her name was Mitsui, if I remember correctly. Uh, hi. Hi. She gives the carving back to Fuku. As soon as Fuku takes it in her hands, she pushes it back in front of the girl. みんな勉強しているでしょ。はい、してます。いぶきさんはまだ1年生だからわからないでしょうけど、今私たちは大変なの。それは分かってます。だからこれって元に置いてください。何ですか？それ人手です。人手を手元に置いて勉強がはかど
Well, I've known them for quite a while, so obviously I already know that for a fact. Alright, from now on, we're totally blind. So let's see if I fuck this up or not. That will be interesting. See you at lunch. Hi. After parting with Furukawa, yeah, one with too much, I head back to my classroom. A girl is running desperately toward me. It's Fuku, whom I just left before taking the stairways. Uh, Seeing my face, she stops. What's wrong? People like me. Then why are you asking the real thing to help you? Better the purse stuff than the body. Huh, is that an English saying? Fascinating, never heard that before. What does that even mean? Fuku runs to hide behind me. A group of three male students is rushing toward us from the direction she's just come. What are you people? The group stops before me. The guy in the middle comes forward and asks me. Yeah, I'm her guardian of sorts. <laughs> Don't make things more complicated. I push Fuku's head, which is sticking out uh, to one side of me, back behind me. Wow, really? That are the most stereotypical nerd voices someone has ever made. For what? フーコちゃんのファンクラブのようなものを結成したいんです。ファンクラブというと語弊がありますね。親衛隊でどうでフーコちゃんの自分の彫刻をいろんな人に差別なくプレゼントするという行為に心打たれましてですね。フーコち
the reaction he deserves. And here, uh, Sonohara always does. Like, he, he sucks up to Nagisa, Nagisa turns him down. Or he sucks up to Nagisa, Tomoya uh, beats the crap out of him. I don't know, something like that. Why I find this funny, I have no idea. All three bow down to us and leave. I thought we were siblings. No, I think it was more uh, figuratively. Or uh, maybe they really thought you were siblings, I don't know. Say, Fuko, I turn around to face her. Why are you so popular, even with that overly honest mouth of yours? Those guys just now said they'd fallen for you, didn't they? How on earth can a wild little animal like you become so... I try looking at her from different angles. Small figure with a nasty mouth. Obviously impossible to tame. It's the... Ah, uh, excuse me. <laughs> it's the worst. So worst I need to barf right on camera. Or microphone. <laughs> You've said the same thing to me more times than I can remember. So what? I have never heard of such a thing before. Not to mention how much difference can one single step make. Also, did you never hear, hear, hear of um, Neil Armstrong? Like, one step humanity and one step for Earth, one step for human, or... Uh, uh, how, does that, how does that go again? It's a single step for a human, but a huge jump for humanity, something like that. Fuku's desperately wiping her face with a uniform sleeve. You're already saying that immediately after what I just told you. Ptui, ptui, ptui. Whatever that means. I bestow on her purse some more of my cell- Oh, he spits. Ah. What? Someone just suddenly kicked me in the ribs. It's so painful, I have to squat down on the floor. It's the bodyguard, guys. Still facing downward, I slowly straighten my legs and stand up. Oh, you fucked with the wrong guy. You bastards. If you don't get the fuck away in five seconds, I'm gonna lose it. Five. Four. Three, two, one. The bodyguards vanish in a second. Yeah, <laughs> true that. But they dare to kick an upperclassman like me. At least they've got guts. Or they don't think about before they do things. Go easy on them. It doesn't feel bad to be loved, right? No, in that case it really doesn't feel good, I can see that point. Well, of course, if someone just appeared out of nowhere and confessed to you. But think about it. Those guys will most certainly show up and congratulate your sister on her wedding. So don't be too harsh on them, okay? But for someone like me, who is with you, it's the worst nightmare possible. <laughs> that is no joking matter. Lunch break. You've got some guts right there. I don't know if ghosts eat, need to eat that badly. Sunohara doesn't even bother to hide his displeasure. たまにはそうとに出てうまい定食でも食おうぜ。砂原さんがそうしたいのでしたら止めないですけど。それって一人で行ってこいってこと。Poor you. Man. Okay, I I don't know. I I mean it's so funny but poor Sunohara. Man, so he gets the, the worst thing is, like, Nagisa uh, does that in such a kind way, it's even worse. At least when someone is, like, turning you down, 
and she's a bitch. Do it the way she's doing it, you know? Then at least you can go, yeah, yeah, you go fuck yourself. With Nagisa's, she's like, she's so gentle in the way she does it. Ah, you can't even be angry with her. Poor Sunohara. Then I'll go buy them right away. Just sit here and wait. I'll take whatever they have, okay? As if there is such a thing. I'm going now. Furukawa is tearing... Oh, t uh, ah, okay. Furukawa is tearing the bread into small pieces to feed Fuku, who is only holding a paper pack of fruit juice in her hands. I spent a pleasant moment watching them. あ、ふうちゃんわざとです。ちゃんとしたところ食べたかったら、ふうこを捕まえてください。この、わあ。で、ふうこ、何人気に走いでるんですか。ん全然それどころじゃなかったです。えっと、もう配るんですか。はい、
Sonohara pushes Fuku's nose upward with his fingers, making it look like a piggy nose snout. You're on the same level as me. Fuku quickly jumps away from Sunohara and puts her thumb and index finger in her mouth. <laughs> I don't know. She's whistling with her fingers? The bodyguards make their appearance from the corridor. Ah, Sunohara mysteriously vanishes after the wave of people. That scenery just now is still giving me the creeps. That is not what you call them at lunch. Just what kind of human do you think I am? The poor bodyguards aren't even aware that the idol has made up such a name for them. Well, it's not like you'll need my permission for that. Quite a busy girl, aren't you? With that said, she starts running ahead, her pocket full of carvings. From a distance, we can see her talking to a student and handing them a starfish. Huh? As her eyes still linger on Fuku, Nagisa lets out a sudden mutter. Of what? Ah! Oh, right! Maybe still someone comes, we have to at least look. But I guess I shall see what we actually do. The words finally remind me of that. In the announcement for recruiting club members, we pick today as the introduction day. Now that you mention it, that is right. You're right. Let's go take a look. Finally, we get some Tomoya and Furukawa uh, alone time. Man, I really, you know, you know, I want them to be a couple in the end of this route. Nagisa and Tomoya should be a couple in the end. I don't know why, but I feel like that would be appropriate. Leave me alone. I can be, sometimes, you know, sometimes I'm like, for the story's sake, I uh, want someone to die. That would be cool. Sometimes I'm like that. But sometimes I'm like, the heart wants what the heart wants. And I want them to be a couple. Full stop. We'll be back soon. She looks back at us and nods. We walk through the corridors and arrive at the old building. What are you doing here? Just how deep have you fallen for Furukawa? Furukawa opens the club room store. Oh, okay, these people, right. Sonohara spits out the answer, sounding vexed. Furukawa comes closer to the pair. The girl named Nishina starts to talk. The proposal is that Komura shall be the advisor for both drama club and choro club. However, according to the rules, club activities must not be carried out without an advisor present. Therefore, each club will have to alternate weeks. So we're still doing that? Ha, huh, that is interesting. 
Okay. So will we still do the whole play thing? We will probably do something else. I don't know, something for the wedding. Some kind of, I don't know, little drama piece. I guess we shall see. それでは、今週は私たちが勝負の番ということで、演劇部の活動は来週ということでお願いします。待ってください。どうしました？フルカワ thinks in silence for a while. Oh, she she will. Oh, okay. She will say they have no time or something. What's wrong, Furukawa? Oh, okay, or maybe not. Furukawa keeps bowing down over and over again. That means the revival of the drama club is secured. Nishina speaks again. What's the school founders festival? Of course I am. I'm just kind of slow. Now tell me. Yeah, okay, we know that in actu actually. <laughs> Don't think. Just say yes and enter. Whatever you say. When is it? So like 10 days from now. No kidding. That is not enough time. Yeah. We see the two members of Coral Club out. <laughs> yeah. See? The whole basketball thing was unnecessary from the beginning. I told you so. And there was no need for Tomoya to shoot the ball. I told you so. Even Klanat confirmed it's ha it has its own head up in its ass. Ooh, that was more angry than I anticipated it to be. There is some still some inner frustration from the time I got the Komura ending because I didn't throw the ball myself with is the what is the sensible thing to do? Just what did you do to help her? By the look of it, she'll thank just about anyone now. But I have another thought. In the end, we didn't really have to do any of that three-on-three -three stuff. Huh? Even if we hadn't done anything, it would turn out fine just like this. <laughs> See, Klanat, we didn't need to do any of this. Well, whatever. The end result was fine. I know what that was about, by the way. If you're now in the comments like, yeah, but it was about Tomoya uh, realizing his full potential, overcoming himself. Yeah, I know that. I have read shonen manga too, you know. But, I don't know, it, it felt so inappropriate. Because, you know, Klanat is all about working together and, you know, the whole family topic. Like, being egoistical and risking everything you did so far just to throw the ball yourself seems rather stupid. Oh, and we're already at the end of the scene. So yeah, let's end it here. Let's end it here in the next episode we're going on. But that is an interesting turn of events. I didn't expect the Klama, the, the, the Klama drop, no. The drama club to be actually established. Now the, quest, now the question that remains, what do we do with that? Where do we go from here with the drama club? I mean, we... We could still do a play on Founders Festival, but I feel like doing the same one doesn't make any sense, you know. Also, if I remember correctly, in the Nagisa route, Nagisa started training way, way earlier. 
So I don't think we have like the 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 whole lost in the lost in the dying world play. We won't do that. But I wonder what we will do. I guess we shall see next episode. So thank you everybody for watching. Come back for the next one. And I'll see you then. Bye bye.